I am so incredibly lucky to teach in a Catholic school. I get to pray and go to Mass as part of my job. Every morning I walk into our classroom where I see our crucifix, our St. Michael and Holy Family statues, and the prayer, Dear God, please help me to do my very best today. Amen. In homeroom, my kids and I stand in a circle, a community of faith, every morning for prayer. I can think of no better way to start every school day. We're so happy that Miss Cindy Many won the Golden Apple here at Finley St. Mike's. She has been a great leader in our junior high department, along with accreditation, student council, and many other projects that she takes under her wings throughout the year. I ask my students every Monday what Mass they attended on the weekend. We often talk about how the homilies were the same or different, depending on the priest or the church. As a seventh grade religion teacher, where the focus is the life and times of Jesus, I can relate the Gospels and readings to topics we've discussed in class. Parables, miracles, Pharisees not seeing the big picture, etc. Everything they witness at Mass ties to our class, and I love when the students say, hey, we just talked about that. Over the years, I've been criticized about asking about Mass, but I feel this is crucial. My kids need to know the importance of being part of the church as a whole. They also need to be able to relate what they hear in the Word and the homily to what is happening in their lives and take it with them out into the world. This is instrumental in helping them become true children and future adults of God. Um, the thing that I like most about Ms. Menning is that she uses things to help you remember more and she uses these worksheets to help you and it's very, very, very helpful. And she's always very nice and really funny. So and you always remember this stuff because she tells you funny stories about it. And Religion and math classes are not here just to give the student an opportunity to earn an A. They exist to help form students into well-rounded Catholics who can take their faith with them as they go on to high school and beyond. Many of our students do not attend Catholic high school, so our mission is even more important as this may be the last formal religion education they'll receive. I like that Miss Menning explains our work over and over again, even when we don't get it. So she'll go in depth and make sure that you understand before she continues. And I also like how she runs the classroom, like she'll make sure that everyone's paying attention a lot and she won't yell at you if you don't understand it, she'll help you out. I lovingly call St. Michael my Catholic school bubble. I'm not naive enough to think we don't have troubles here, but we are insulated, protected through God's love. And I'm so grateful to teach in a Catholic school. He always takes her time with us, and if we're having troubles, she'll always work it down to the basics, which is really nice. <laughs>